We have a continuous flow assembly. Most of the manufacturer of car or truck uh, use a, a, an assembly line where vehicles move from station to, st to station. That's what we have at the MS. Uh, we have a 16 station assembly line and after that we go to final inspection, final delivery. It means that depending on the backlog, we will produce, uh, move the vehicle every two, three, four or five hours. Uh, if we do a van type of uh, ambulance, type two, uh, we'll produce them in double. So depending on the order size, we can produce up to 30 ambulance per, per week uh, or 15 modules on one shift. And if we have more order, we can go to a second shift. So the, the advantage of that is we can con control what is being done. When you define your work in small piece of two to three hours, we do the training with the employees, we give them what they need to be done, and we can inspect right after that. So we know exactly that what has been done at phase two, three is good, and we can proceed and continue to assemble the vehicle. For the employees, it, it, they can repeat and perform their task and be excellent at doing it because it's always the same process, even though it's different component and different look and feel for the customer. So we can adapt for the customer having the right ambulance for him with a standardized process in terms of manufacturing so that we can move vehicle at a good pace and improve quality while we're doing that. The flow is quite important. It, it, it helps us produce huge quantity and also helps us improve the quality. Because when you do that and you do inspection at each and every station, if you find something that needs to be corrected, you can go back exactly at the previous station, station and fix it, and fix it once for all. A continuous flow process helps you produce more efficiently, uh, deliver on time, reduce the cost, and improve quality.